So central pillars of our democracy are being stripped away and high on the chopping block, as we all know, is the environment. So what do we do about it? Well, we have to do everything. We have to engage in peaceful protests to fight for our democracy. We have to work for better, more clear legislation that can't be so easily ignored, stripped away, and undermined. We have to get better enforcement of the laws that we have in place. We have to litigate. We have to litigate at the state level and yes, at the federal level. We have to vote. We have to vote better people into office that will do a better job when it comes to environmental protection. And we have to turn to the states. We have to turn to our state constitutions, the Bill of Rights Declaration of Rights section of our state's constitutions, and seek and secure the passage of constitutional green amendments that will give highest protection, recognition, and strength to our human right to pure water, clean air, a safe climate, and healthy environment. Will getting constitutional green amendments in place at the state level be an instant panacea? Will it solve all of our problems? No. But it will take the most powerful tool we have in our U.S. democracy under U.S. law, our constitutions, and put them to work for we the people, for our rights to a clean, safe, and healthy environment. Ultimately, we will seek and secure a federal green amendment that will not be so easily ignored and stripped away by six justices on the Supreme Court. But right now, we're gonna do it at the state level. It's more accessible. And we can make a difference in the near term, going state by state by state, seeking and securing a constitutional green amendment that will recognize and protect our rights to a clean, safe, and healthy environment, that we, the people, will dictate in terms of language and that we the people can then utilize to protect ourselves, to protect present and future generations. States have often led the way when it's come to advancing critical fundamental rights for we the people, such as the right to vote for women and people of color. And it makes sense that right now in this moment, the states would lead the way when it comes to advancing environmental rights. Our democracy is powerful and important and we can put it to work for we the people. And when it comes to the environment, that means seeking, seeking and securing a constitutional green amendment in every state constitution across our nation and ultimately at the federal level. I know it looks dark when it comes to environmental protection, certainly when we're talking about federal protections. But the federal government only ever set the floor, the minimum level of protections. Always available to us was a higher, a higher standard of protection at the state level through legislation and yes, now through our constitutions, through the passage of constitutional green amendments. So these dark days are difficult, but there is light and that light is we the people using our democratic process here in the United States of America to seek and secure constitutional green amendments. We have them in Pennsylvania, Montana, and New York. We need them in every state. www.greenamendments.org is where you go to learn more and get engaged.